Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my last video that I did lost foam casting, I went ahead and made this little metal heart. And it was my first lost foam casting. And I cut it out with a hot wire and I made a special jig for it. So here's the jig. It goes on the hot wire cutter and I printed off a pattern, a 3D pattern. And the hot wire would come straight off the top and I could stick the styrofoam. Here's the styrofoam that I picked up from a hardware store. I could stick a little piece of the hard uh, piece of styrofoam on the heart and then run it around the hot wire and then pull it off and I'd have an exact copy of this pattern here. So I want to try cutting it a different way. And I made this little part right here, which is going to be uh, put on my router. But this time I can put the styrofoam on top of the part, just like I did the hot wire and run it around and have the router blade cut the styrofoam and we can kind of see it just a different way of cutting styrofoam out for lost foam casting. So here's my router table and we'll go ahead and put this in right here and tape it in so it doesn't come loose and then run the blade up through there and we'll go ahead and get started cutting up some foam. And this time we'll try it without the wallboard compound, the joint compound and see what type of results we get. Um, I think it still comes out, but I don't think we're going to get as good as results as putting the joint compound on the styrofoam before we cast it. But again, this video is just to see what it would look like and to show a different way of cutting styrofoam out. Let's get started. All right, so this is my foam cutter that I used in the last video. I'm just using it this time to cut the foam into a smaller piece so that way it fits on the pattern. In just a second, you're going to see why having a wire foam cutter is a little better than just using the router. So that piece is a little thick, so now I'm going to split it down the middle. And being able to have a hot wire do that is uh, a lot easier than putting it on a router table. I, I can't even imagine trying to split that with a router bit. It's just not going to happen. So there are some advantages to having a hot wire cutter. So I don't have any double-sided sticky tape, so I'm just using painter's tape. Um, it seems to release pretty easy, so I won't be tearing the styrofoam. And now I'm just attaching the pattern to the styrofoam and getting it ready for the router. And here it goes with the router. One advantage with the router is the cutting bit on it is not going to flex or bend like the wire. So you really get a nice straight cut as opposed to the wire which heats up and causes a little bit of flex or a little bit of slack in the wire. Um, so this is a really good method on making sure your sides of the foam are straight. Now that the pattern's been cut out, all oh, it looks like it just needs some sanding. And so I'll go ahead and do the sanding off camera. Here's the heart all sanded and glued onto the sprue. So uh, it's ready to go. So I'm burying the uh, styrofoam into the sand. Normally there'd be a refractory coating on it, but I kind of wanted to see what it'd do without that refractory coating. And so it's just gonna be the styrofoam straight in the sand.
All right, it's time to scrape off the dross and the impurities off the top and add more aluminum to it. The aluminum that I'll be adding to it is from hard drives. Um, the hard drives are just taken apart and the aluminum from the hard drive cases are put in. So far, it's been really good aluminum. That poof was the styrofoam bursting in fire. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, here's the moment of truth. Definitely doesn't look as good without that refractory coating and it has the texture of the sand in it. You can see the one on the right is the one from my previous video with the refractory coating. And the one on the left was what we just pulled out of the sand. You can see the sand uh, left that texture on it. Still turned out, but didn't turn out near as clean. And you can see some imperfections down in the bottom of it. I'm not quite sure what happened there. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to go to my channel and check out how that other heart was made using the refractory coating if you haven't already seen it. Thanks again. Have a good one.